Hey, what's up? I'm Cyrus Baluki, drummer of the band New Found Glory. Why SJC? For me, SJC, I've known the brand for a long time, from pretty much when they first started. I saw their drums everywhere. Um, I didn't use them right away, but I knew that they were everywhere. And I think what they represent as a brand is everything I would want in a custom drum maker. Um, these are guys who love the instruments, they love the drums, they love making them sound good, look good, play good, all that. They've never ceased to amaze me with, uh, you know, anything they can kind of come up with. So every kit I've ever played, every drum I've ever played, SJC, top notch. So my first SJC kit was actually a kit I got in the UK. Um, it was really cool. It was a nod to an older kit that I had a long time ago. It was a seafoam green stain. Um, even though I'm somebody who's well known for sparkle wraps and stuff like that, the idea was to recreate this kit by making a nice stain so it kind of has a cool uh, you know, tone to it. And yeah, it was an amazing kit, 22 inch kick, 12, 16, 18 floor toms. Uh, sounded good, looked good, uh, just turned heads every time I'd play them. The most recent kit I have right now, out on the sick tour here with Newfound Glory, it's a, uh, it's a custom paint job. It's actually a, you know, I don't even know the name of the finish, but it's a custom green kind of fade finish with a sparkle in it. Uh, we took two exact colors of our production backdrop, stuff like that, two different green colors, made a cool little like gradient fade, and we're able to translate that onto a kit. Uh, 22 by 18 kick. Um, I have, uh, let's see, it's 8 by 12 wrap, 14 by 16 floor tom, and a 16 by 18 floor tom. Those are kind of my, my standard styles. Uh, regular shells, the, the cool SJC shells, I think it's five ply all around. Maybe the kick might be seven or something like that. Um, and then my secret weapon is a titanium snare. I actually have, I believe, one of the first titanium snares SJC made years ago. Um, it's a six by 14 or six and a half by 14. I know now they have the seven by 14s, which I'm sure are amazing. I, I play this snare every single show. If I fly, it doesn't matter where, what country I'm in, always using that titanium snare. Um, I throw a Remo Black X head on there and it's just done. Like it's the loudest yet most musical snare I've ever played. Why I play the drums in general, I actually stumbled upon them. Um, I started with piano a long time ago when I was like four years old. And then like everybody, when I'm like 12, 13, all my friends in high school, we, we wanted to start a band. I was playing guitar at that time. I had an older brother who got me into guitar. And when I tried to start the band with my three friends or two friends, the three of us, we all just played guitar. So you can't really have a band of only guitar players. And immediately my other friends were like, well, I'll play guitar. The other one's like, I'll play bass and sing. And I was like, I guess I'll try the drums. Um, I was always like interested in the drums just because of how kind of crazy it is, how complicated yeah. it can be. I'm a very numbers analytical guy. Plus I grew up on stuff like uh, Metallica and Pantera. So, you know, drumming parts can be kind of crazy. Songs like One by Metallica or almost any Pantera song. I tried to struggle through that stuff, and that's kind of how I taught myself how to play drums. And looking back, you know, 23 or 24 years later, uh, I still love to play along to songs like that and still draw influences from things as crazy as metal or even the 90s alternative stuff I grew up on or kind of anything I listen to. My favorite song to play live, it changes every single night. I think it definitely changes tour by tour, uh, especially when we swap out our set list. Um, Right now, it's a song called Truth of My Youth. It's an older song by Newfound Glory off of our record Catalyst. We're playing it every night. Um, it's kind of in the middle of the set. I, I'm unfortunately not totally fresh by then, but also I'm warmed up and I'm like feeling good. And there's a part of the song, it's not on the record, but live I play it, where I get to throw in a little kind of nod to the metal stuff I was referring to. I'm not a double bass guy at all, and I'm not even that good on double bass, but I have one little fill in like the second pre-chorus of that song, where I kind of get a little like uh, ride bell double bass action. And it's just really fun to play, it's up-tempo, fast, and uh, you know, the drumming on it is, is not easy, but it's kind of what we do. Most listened to band this year? That's always a tough question for me. I do a lot of the like, Spotify random, kind of yeah. see what shows up. Um, I mean, over time, like, I'm a huge Green Day fan. Jimmy World, I've always loved those dudes. Kind of anything they put out, I love. 
Um, I'll listen to some rap stuff too as a drummer. Even that music, hip hop music, it's a great thing to practice to. It's got like a specific and kind of uh, straight tempo usually, so it's really fun to practice to. Metal stuff I'll put on any of the bands that we're ever on tour with. My own band, you know, unfortunately I gotta listen to me a lot like <laughs> when we're recording records and mixing them and stuff, so I've heard a lot of that. Even getting ready for this tour, I just kind of had to remind myself of some of our songs, so it's kind of all over the place. Yeah. Uh, for anybody who is a musician or wants to become a musician, I mean, for it to be in your life, it kind of has to be your life, but it doesn't mean that it has to be your actual career. I think for me at an early age, when I was younger and piano was kind of my first instrument I went to because we had one in my house, there was just this love and appreciation, I think, more for music. So, you know, don't ever single yourself out. Like, always try to take influence from any music that you listen or hear. Um, I'm just somebody who, when I listen to a piece of music, I try to kind of dive inside, whether it's like figuring out why somebody wrote what they did, or, you know, maybe even the more like intricate stuff, like learning music notation, that's a huge thing. And all this stuff really goes into like making you enjoy what you do more. Being a drummer specifically, I get like so much pleasure from just knowing that the rhythm and the beats I create make people move and really carry like a lot of the show. Um, so you know, being able to do that night in and night out is, is amazing for me and there's a huge release in that for me. And there's a power that really translates with the drums. So I definitely love what I do and I love that it is music and I'll always want to do that. So if you can find a way to love music for however, whatever capacity you're in, you're definitely set.